think about how to live together? What discipline could it be and why do you think so? You could make all four of them work. Okay. So when you're thinking about that too, and how you're saying, oh, I can make all four of those work, then here's what I would do. I would have a focus of which one you're going to do for each one of them for this reason, okay? Which is my next slide, but going to these and then deciding which one it is. That will help you make sure you're choosing sources that are going to match that discipline also. So maybe I want to make sure I have a map when I'm, when I'm choosing this supporting question. If it's talking about something about geography within it. Or maybe I want to have a chart or a graph in something that talks about something from the past or some economics or whatever that might, piece might be. It helps you when you start thinking through those lenses of what each of those supporting questions is, <coughs> is what resources now would I want to pick to help me figure out how to support the kids to be able to answer that. And what are the different lenses I might go through to make that happen. Okay. How about how do we deal with scarcity? Economics, obviously the word scarcity is a key word in that that would go with economics piece of it. And depending on what the scarcity is, it might fit another one too. Okay. How do people and places influence each other? Geography would make the most sense there also when we're talking about people and places. I also, when I see people, it also makes me think of civics and how people get along and work, can work together with rules and stuff that way too. What happened in the past and why? That makes sense for um, a history one too. So, when we think of that, you can generate questions no matter what the item is. Even if you thought of this parking sign right here, you can actually develop questions through those points of view about anything. So if you were to create a question as a historian, a geographer, economist, political scientist, or an activist about this sign right here, what would be four questions you could do? Right? That's what you're going to do in your group right now. You're coming up with four questions that you would try and make about that sign through those lenses. One for each. One for each. Yeah. You've got it. So you're going to have four questions total by the time that you're done.